I'm a fan of Sherlock Holmes. I've read the complete works of Sherlock Holmes a number of times. So I'd like to answer a question. Why do we eat special foods on Rosh Hashanah? And the source, the original source, is found in the tractate of Kritut and Horayot. And it's a saying of Abaye, who lived in Babylon in the third century. Now that you said that an omen is effective, a person should always be accustomed to see Kara, a gourd, Rubia, fenugreek, Karte, leeks, Silka, beets, and Tamre, dates on Rosh Hashanah. What's he talking about? He's saying that each of these words hints at a word in Hebrew or Aramaic, and that word in Hebrew or Aramaic will be a good omen for the year ahead. So, for example, when you eat the beets, you say, Yistalku oivenu, may our enemies go away. When you eat the dates, Tamar, you say, Yitamu sonenu, may our enemies uh, be finished. When you eat the gourd, you say, Yikara roagzar dinenu, may our decree be annulled, and so on and so forth. In other words, the reason for the custom, as explained by many medieval rabbis, is that this is an omen for the year ahead. If we eat these specific foods that sound like a specific word in Hebrew or Aramaic, that good thing will happen to us in the year ahead. Uh, and indeed, what happened in the Middle Ages is that the list of foods was expanded. The Ashkenazic custom is first mentioned by uh, the Tour, Rabbi Yaakov ben Asher, in the 14th century. He says that we eat apples and honey in Rosh Hashanah so that we should have a sweet year. But the Sephardic Jews continued to observe the original custom of Abaye, as found in the Talmud, which is to eat the leeks, the beets, the dates, the gourd, the pomegranate, and to say the sayings that I alluded to previously in order that we should have a sweet year uh, and have good things happen to us in the year ahead. I would like to add two final customs that you may not be familiar with. One is the custom of eating tzimis or carrots on Rosh Hashanah. This is based on a play on words in Yiddish, uh, mentioned, for example, by Rav Avram Danzig 200 years ago. In Yiddish, the word mer means carrots. The word mer also means more. So Rav Avram Danzig says that if we eat uh, carrots on Rosh Hashanah, merin, we will have mer, we will have more in the year ahead. And finally, there is a custom among French speakers in Jerusalem, and they eat a banana uh, on Rosh Hashanah. Why do they eat a banana? Because banana sounds like the French, bon an, that you should have a good year. So just as Abaye was making a play on words in Aramaic, and Rav Avram Danzig was making a play on words in Yiddish, the French speakers are making a play on words in French. And therefore, whether you eat beets and gourds or fenugreek, on Rosh Hashanah in the Sephardic practice, or apples and honey and carrots in the Ashkenazic practice, or a banana among French Jews, I hope that you will eat these wonderful foods on Rosh Hashanah, and may they lead to a sweet year ahead. Shana Tova from Shechter.